All right, so our self-leveler is completely dry. Um, we were able to skip scarifying the concrete subfloor by using the Ladder Tree Primer Bond Roll-On. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the Bathroom Remodeling Vlog featuring Shannon and me, Chris. I'm here doing a voiceover now because we had some issues with the microphone in the beginning of the video. So um, to make up for the lack of voice, here I am. So what we got here is a concrete slab where we're going to be putting our tubs around. And on today's video, we're going to be showing you how to pour SLU without concrete prep. So the reason that we need to pour the self-leveling uh, under lemon is because the height of the finished floor on the outside of where the tub is going to be is about half an inch thick, as you can see where Shannon is pointing out in the video. So what we're going to be doing here is pouring self-leveler to bring it up to be the same height. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, clean and vacuum the area before you go over it with the primer. That is very important. You don't want any dust and dirt and debris getting it caught up in your roller. It's just not good. Um, and basically what the primer bond does is creates a mechanical bond between the primer and the SLU rather than putting a regular primer on there and having the SLU create a chemical bond between the primer subfloor and the SLU. It gets a little bit complicated, but basically with this stuff, you roll it on and you're good to go, ready to pour yourself lovely. Okay, so yeah, the next step is going to be to map out the area. If you don't know how to do that, what I mean by mapping out is by setting the height of where you're gonna pour yourself leveler. So you kinda wanna know how out specific spots in the room are. If you don't know how to do that, I will link the video below. Um, and then after that, we're gonna dam off the whole area. And this area, the edges, all along eh, the wall here. That is because you need expansion around the entire room, but also we don't want the self leveler to be going down the drain. So there's two purposes for it. So set your pins, do your damming, and then we can pour. So let's get to that. All right, so the next step is we're going to dam around the entire perimeter here um, where the sill plate is. That leaves room for expansion. You always want expansion because the floor expands and contracts, and this is a nice soft material, so it will allow it to do that. Um, we're gonna dam off the sill perimeter, and then we're going to dam off around the drain so that our self leveler doesn't go down there. So, we have it all dammed up real nice. Hopefully we didn't miss any spots. And I think we need a little bit more right there. But, so you can see the idea. This is for expansion against the sill plate. This is so that the self leveler doesn't go down this big gaping hole we have in the floor. Um, normally, 
we wouldn't leave a hole like this this big if we were putting it a shower in. but this is for a tub so the plumbing situation is a totally different ball game usually we would like to self-level like right up to the pipe so um, but this is a different situation here so the only next step is to mix up the self-leveler and pour that baby in okay so we mixed up the we mixed up two buckets two full bags worth of the Laticrete NXT plus self-leveler. We are probably going to use at least one and a half Maybe buckets. Two. We'll see. We'll see. It's always better to mix up more than you need because what you don't want to have happen is you don't mix up enough and your pour is here because this stuff starts curing very quickly. All right, so we're going to... Action. Okay, so we're going to pour. I'm gonna make sure I have that right. right. Okay, so basically, after you pour self-leveler, this is what you don't want to see. Um, you see how you can still see my pin, kind of? And you can tell that it's still low there because you look at, you can see the edge of the terrazzo. Um, but the problem is, is that this terrazzo, it's like there's a low spot here and then it kind of builds up right there. So in lieu of making a high spot over here, we're going to let it pass, but this is a very good example of what you don't want to see. That's how you know you need more self-leveler. Same thing over here. You can still kind of see the pin and you don't want to do that. And you can see how you don't see any other pin at all. Um, but if you touched where they were, they're covered completely. Um, but that's too low. So that's where the pins come in handy and they help you a lot. Is that, yes, yeah, self-leveler does go to the lowest spot. However, so yes, while self-leveler will go to the lowest spot, it will not make it perfectly level um, based on what you need. So that's why I like to go around, take my measurements and set pins so that I can make sure that I'm pouring enough. Like, cause how else would you know that you're pouring enough in an area? Cause I can't put my level on this, it's wet. So setting pins, like help so much especially if you're doing a room definitely needed but we'll let this dry we'll come back we'll let you see how it looks see you guys later all right so our self leveler is completely dry um, we were able to skip scarifying the concrete subfloor by using the ladder creek prime and bond roll-on um, so now all that we have to do next is to cut away the excess foam we probably don't even need to do it around the perimeter because we're dropping in a tub. We're just going to do it around the drain area so that we don't have anything blocking our way over there. And then we can get to work on the rest of the shower, which is going to be fun. So. Yeah, so the next part of the vlog that you're probably going to see is us um, trying to put the tub in. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Um, and then once we're done with the tub, we're gonna hang the um, foam board for waterproofing for our tile. So thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let us know what you think, and uh, yeah. See you next time. See you on the next 
bathroom from your model blob. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Say bye, mom, from my, my boy. He's just not looking in the right direction, ever. You always see Major's back, the back of Major's head. Say bye, my boy.